What's up, family? Trier here, and we have some breaking news for our seniors. Those individuals on Social Security may also fall within this category, but could seniors receive $1,729 next year in additional wages? I have the information to share with you today. Also, President Biden finally speaks out in regards to the former President Donald Trump's maintaining of those classified documents at his personal estate. Biden shares his thoughts with the media. In addition, it appears that the Democrats have been receiving a major boost lately right before the midterm elections. And lastly, I do want to share with you my partnership with Moomoo, but we'll talk about that later on in this video. But in the meantime, hey, you guys already know what to do. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel as well as hit the like button for us. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Queen Elizabeth II. Her funeral was on Monday and she has been laid to rest. Yes, it says that the public funeral for Queen Elizabeth II concluded on Monday as the royal family, world leaders, and massive crowds paid tribute to Britain's longest reigning monarch. President Biden attended the state funeral service in London and thousands of people lined the streets to catch a glimpse of the Queen's coffin as it traveled from Westminster Abbey to Windsor Castle, where she was laid to rest along with her late husband, Prince Philip, in a private service later on Monday. Now, in the meantime, we will continue to keep those in our prayers during this time because Queen Elizabeth was loved by many, many people and some people are not. But anyways, guys, we definitely want to keep those families in our prayers. But moving on, hey, breaking news from President Biden. Yes, he was on 60 Minutes on Sunday in which he made the statement of the pandemic is over. Yes, guys, is this true? Could it be true? Well, apparently so, guys, because President Biden declared the COVID-19 pandemic is over in an interview with CBS 60 Minutes, which aired on Sunday evening. Now, he did say that the pandemic is over, but he said we still have a problem with COVID. We're still doing a lot of work on it right now, but the pandemic is over. And if you notice, no one's wearing masks anymore. Everybody seems to be in pretty good shape, according to President Biden, which he filmed before he actually flew to the funeral of Queen Elizabeth II in London. But he did say, look, I think that the times are changing and I think this is a perfect example of it. The Biden administration last month extended the public health emergency declaration for COVID through October the 13th, which is less than than 30 days away, guys. But the World Health Organization still designates the virus as a public health emergency of international concern. So who's telling the truth right here, guys? Well, I believe that most people are going to particularly listen to the United States. However, they might not want to listen to the current president in office. But anyways, guys, this is just the latest information in regards to the pandemic as well as COVID. We're still dealing with COVID. However, the pandemic essentially is pretty much over. But moving on, guys, hey, it is hurricane season and we do have a first, I believe the first, Hurricane Fiona, in which right now it is terrorizing Puerto Rico. Right here it talks about that uh, Hurricane Fiona brings catastrophic flooding to the area as well as it caused power outages in Puerto Rico. Now guys, if you live in this particular area, you definitely want to be mindful of this, which I'm sure that you are. And also guys, this particular hurricane is in the path to next be approaching upon Dominic Republic. So again guys, we definitely want to keep all those in that region in our prayers during this particular time and hopefully we don't have to suffer any more lives being lost from this particular hurricane. Anyways guys continue to stay safe out there. In regards to the former President Donald Trump guys hey we just received a new poll and apparently this poll shows that the former President Donald Trump his favorability rating has actually dropped even more. Yes guys it drops to a new low according to this new poll. And it says that the former President Trump's favorability rating has dropped to a new low after slowly trickling down over the past few months. A new NBC News poll released on Sunday found that 34% of registered voters said that they have a positive view of former President Donald Trump, while 54% say that they have a negative view of him. But 
Trump's favorability rating was at its lowest back in April of 2021 when his ratings fell to 32% in the same NBC poll. Now, the former president's favorability score is down slightly since last month with the same 54% saying that they have a negative view of Trump, but 36% saying that they have a positive view of former President Donald Trump. And as you can see right here, guys, these are the particular ratings that came from this NBC poll in which you can see in the yellow, which is column number two, which shows the negative view of uh, Donald Trump, which is around 54%. And then you see the positive view of Trump, which is around 34%, which like I said, guys, this is a little bit slightly lower than it was last month, which means that officially his ratings have actually dropped. And yes, guys, it dropped around about two points since last month. But anyways, guys, that is exactly the latest news that we do have on the former president, uh, Donald Trump. But we also have where President Biden actually spoke about the issues surrounding the former president. Yes, we have it right here that President Biden was speaking to the media in which he told them that, look, the classified documents at uh, Trump's Miralago estate in Florida, it does raise some major concerns. Yes, President Joe Biden says that this discovery of top secret documents at the former president's home raised concerns that sensitive data was compromised and called it very irresponsible. And yes, guys, it says right here that President Biden says that Trump's handling of the documents is totally irresponsible for a former president, let alone a any type of president out there, guys. But anyways, uh, seeing that the classified documents turned up by an August the 8th FBI search of Trump's Miralago estate, uh, President Biden wondered how anyone can be that irresponsible. Now, he did say this in the interview on CBS 60 Minutes, which we just talked about. He also said that, look, I thought what data was in there may be compromised sources and methods. And by that, I mean names of people who help, etc. And it's just totally irresponsible. So, yes, guys, this is probably the first time that we've actually got any information from President Biden in which how he felt about uh, Trump holding those particular uh, sensitive documents at his estate in Florida. And this begs the question, guys, I want to ask you, do you believe that this was very irresponsible for the former president? Or do you think that he has the right to hold those documents in this particular room at his estate in Mar-a-Lago? If you guys recall previously, maybe a year or two ago, where a Chinese spy ended up getting access to Mar-a-Lago, in which a lot of people have come out and stated that it's very easy to get into this particular Mar-a-Lago estate because it's open to the public. It's not necessarily a secure facility unless the former president is actually at that particular location. So I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that President Biden is right that uh, former President Donald Trump holding these documents was very irresponsible? Uh, let me know down below in the comment section, guys, how you feel about this. And I would love to see and hear your take on it. I would like to interrupt this video to share with you my new preferred brokerage account that I use for buying and selling stocks. It is called Moomoo. I recently got them to offer my family and friends up to 15 free stocks. Now, in order to qualify, all you have to do is sign up using the link down below and that will get you at least one free stock. And then after that, deposit $100 and that will give you an additional four free stocks. And if you deposit $2,000 or more, you can receive all 15 stocks stocks for free. And the beauty about this is they could be worth up to $2,000. Now, if you do sign up, please remember to keep your money in your brokerage account at least 60 days, guys, in order to receive the stocks. And again, it's free money. So, don't sleep on this opportunity. But anyways, let's get back into the video. But moving on, guys, and also in relation to Trump news, hey, the Democrats are really excited right now. They are saying that, look, we are really hopeful even more today than we was last month or the month before. And we have about 50 days before the midterm elections. And yes, it talks about it right here, guys, that Trump gives the Democrats new hope to hold on to the Senate because we all know that the Democrats are facing losing the Senate 
Senate from the Democrats and for it to go back over and be held among the Republicans. However, because of all of this bad publicity for the former President Donald Trump, hey, the Democrats are really excited and saying, look, that we might have a chance to actually hold on to the Senate. But anyways, guys, it says with 50 days to go into the 2021 midterm elections, the Democrats are riding a wave of enthusiasm while Republicans are looking to rebound from a grueling primary season and recast the fight for control of Congress as a referendum on President Biden and his party. Now, the midterms were unthinkable just a few months ago when the Democrats were bracing for a potential electoral thrashing in November, but a series of developments, most notably the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe versus Wade, having given the party powerful themes to run on like abortion rights and the fate of the American democracy, as well as the legal issues that former President Donald Trump is dealing with. Uh, it looks like the Democrats might have a chance, guys. And in a statement, it says that, look, I'm from South Carolina. And the one thing we know is that never good to predict the weather five or six months out, according to Antoine Seawright, which is a Democrat strategist and senior advisor to the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee. But... Every election is different because there are so many things you can and cannot control. What I do know is we've been able to prioritize the priorities, focus on the focus and the delivery of deliverables. And I think that it's going to make the difference in the end. Now, Republicans still appear poised to win back their House majority thanks to gains made in redistricting the lingering concerns among voters over inflation, the economy, and perceived rising crime. But the control of the Senate is much less certain. While the GOP needs to net just one seat to recapture its majority in the upper chamber, a roster of untested and in some cases controversial candidates combined with a series of early campaign trail stunts has made achieving that goal more difficult. Now, again, guys, the top Republicans are aware of the obstacles that they're facing right now, but the Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell acknowledged last month that there's probably a greater likelihood that the House flips more than the Senate does. But anyways, guys, that is just the information that we have right now as we have 50 days remaining before the midterm elections and things could change. Like this article talked about, Antoine stated it very best that things can change overnight with this situation, especially if there are more revolutions from the former President Donald Trump, or let's say some issues arise from President Biden, or let's say some other issues with the GOP, or it doesn't matter, guys. Anything can change overnight. So, but like I said, guys, things could change, but we, so far, it looks like the Democrats have a high probability, just a little bit, in maintaining the Senate, and that is definitely some good news for the Democrats. But last but not least, guys, we do want to talk about our most vulnerable Americans right now because we know that those individuals on Social Security are really struggling right now, trying to make ends meet, trying to put food on the table, trying to maintain taking their medication on the regular scheduled uh, time frame in which a lot of those have, haven't been able to, guys, because they just don't have enough money. So they've been skipping medications day over day as well as different meals throughout the day, guys, but they do not have to do that. They shouldn't have to, guys. Us Americans that are doing much better than others need to make sure the system has reform for the social security program and right now we do have a little bit of good information in regards to our seniors and that is because our seniors our social security recipients could receive a huge boost sometime next year and yes this boost could be around one thousand seven hundred and twenty nine dollars again guys this could be a boost in regards to an increase in benefits wages but anyways guys nearly seventy million older Americans and others who receive Social Security benefits could get an average bump of around $1,729 next year, which for most would amount to the biggest increase ever. This is a Social Security boost, guys. We definitely need it. Do you agree? Do you vote for this? I sure hope so, guys. But anyways, guys, it talks about that given the current inflation trends, the Social Security Administration is likely to boost monthly payments by 8.7%, which would marked the highest increase since 1981, according to the Senior Citizens League, which is a nonpartisan group that advocates for older Americans. The, the only years when COLA increases have exceeded 8.7 percent were back in 1979, 1980, and 1981, which is a period when the U.S. was also experiencing a bout
out of high inflation, which is exactly what we're experiencing right now. But anyways, many seniors have suffered financially as this year's cost adjustment, 5.9%, has lagged the hottest inflation in the last 40 years, while the Senior Citizens League expects the boost of 8.7% for next year. Their current forecast is almost a 4 percentage point lower than their earlier predictions that seniors would see a 9.6% bump increase. Hopefully, guys, we hope. All we can do is keep our fingers crossed in the meantime, especially if you are a huge advocate for our Social Security recipients, SSI, SSDI, VA beneficiaries, as well as all other seniors out there. I am a huge advocate for that. But anyways, guys, under the most recent forecast, seniors will receive an average monthly increase of around $144 or about $1,729 for the year. A month ago, the Senior Citizens League had forecasted the monthly increase to be about $159 or $1,900 annually. But right now, it looks like their forecasting has actually dropped a little bit. But still, guys, this is still a huge increase, although it's not necessarily enough. But we do want to be happy and excited because we are seeing some form of increase for our Social Security recipients. But anyways, guys, hey, $1,729 for next year. Hopefully, we get that, guys. I hope that these forecasts by the senior citizens Citizens League is really accurate, more accurate than we've seen before. And hopefully it actually goes up even higher than that because we do have later on this week where the Fed Chairman Jerome Powell is going to speak on whether or not he is going to raise interest rates once again to try to combat the high inflation in this country. So if he does that, guys, this could potentially cause the Senior Citizens League to actually go ahead and adjust these particular forecasts to actually go up even higher. But again, guys, we won't know until the Fed speaks later this week on Wednesday, I believe. So we'll just keep our eyes out posted on exactly what Jerome Powell has to say in regards to raising interest rates and how he sees the future of our economy. But anyways, guys, hey, I hope all this information in this video was helpful to you today. Well, anyways, guys, hey, that's all I have for you today. But as a quick reminder, don't forget about the promotion with Moomoo where they're giving out 15 free stocks. That link will be down below. But the promotion ends at the end of this month, September, depending on when you're watching it. But anyways, guys, hey, if you enjoy today's content and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if you like today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, guys, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.